we create technical tutorials on various programming language. And if you have not subscribed it yet, consider subscribing just like this. Hit the bell icon so that you get notified on new demo videos on programming. Hey, this is Supreet, and today we're going to see how to use this aggregate functions in MongoDB. So what we're going to do is uh, we'll insert some documents uh, in a collection called products. So the idea is uh, we'll have to insert a number of categories like mobile, action, camera, and camera, and assign price to that each of the categories, so that you know uh, aggregation of these items will be easier for me. So I'm just inserting the first line item. Category is camera and price. I'll mention as some thirty thousand. Right there you go. One item is inserted. Likewise, I'll insert uh, some more items. I'll say category equals action camera. Assign some specific price to that. So what we'll do is we'll create uh, some multiple line items under the same category. So that helps me, you know, demonstrate the aggregation more easily. Look at that. I've created two line items, one with the price 40,000 and one with the price 50,000. So likewise, we'll create uh, two more line items with the category as, uh, let's say, mobile. <coughs> All right. look at that I'll just change the price over here all right so two line items got inserted for the category mobile don't get confused uh, that it's you know inserting multiple line items with the same category name uh, it will identify based on this uh, ID primary ID all right, so now what we'll do is we'll try to you know uh, focus on aggregation. So the function used is called aggregate. I've just pointed the thing out over here, and the keyword over here, keyword used here is group, and uh, make sure that you know you're using dollar sign, so that you won't end up in you know uh, syntactical errors. So group by what? Group by field name name, and. Uh, the aggregation is performed on the column price. So what we'll do is uh, we'll you know mention number of line items over here. How many line items are present under the specific category? So like you say, count star. Uh, we'll say dollar sum equals one. Uh, I get the syntax error. Let's try to identify why the syntax error is. I think this is because of some braces. Let's check if the braces are appropriate. Angular brackets are fine. Let's see where the issue is. Issue might be because of this uh, square brackets. Because this is an array. Let's try to fix it. Does this work? No, this doesn't work. All right, I got the problem. <coughs> The problem is with the placement of uh, angular, not, not angular, uh, square brackets. I'll just correct it in a while. There you go. So now I'm, I'm just trying to display the results. You have two items under the category mobile, two items under the category action camera, one item under the category camera. Now we'll try to you know uh, perform another you know, aggregate function operations. We'll say sum of prices. I'll say dollar price, and this gives me, you know, the aggregation based on you know uh, summation of this price column. <clears throat> Look at that: forty thousand plus fifty thousand equals ninety thousand. You got the aggregate of that. Likewise, we'll perform some different operations. We'll use some different keywords, different operators. I'll say average 
now you can see the average of that we'll say minimum and maximum let's see how it works alright you can see the minimum also <clears throat> likewise we'll, we'll try to execute for maximum so things are pretty simple over here aggregate function you know basically takes parameters like you know uh, group by and group by what group by column and aggregation based on what column so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed this uh, any queries you just comment me back on my comment section so I will be happy to take over this uh, you know uh, your queries and comments and come back with the response to the later videos thank you